What's up YouTube, Jay Travelini here. And today I've got my 3060 again, my fall video. Like I said, now I've been mining Firo for a week on it. And I'll show you my overclocks here and I'll show you how much revenue I made and also how much I made in Firo. Now there's still some on the pool that is unpaid and I got this pretty close to the seven day mark. I'm a few hours shy. Uh, I think I started mining at about noonish last week on Tuesday. And right now it's about 9 a.m. So probably like two or three hours shy of when I actually started mining. But let's go ahead. I'm going to I'll show you guys the computer here and we'll go ahead and look at what I've mined and I'll show you my overclocks. So my overclocks pretty much stay the same. Now, there was one instance last year where it did fall off and I don't know if it was a driver issue or if it just fell off, but I reset my overclocks and it's been stable since with the same ones. Now, if we open my curve editor, I have not touched my curve editor here and you know I do like to use curves, but since this is more on the lines of overclocking for compound, I knew it was going to be more power hungry. I didn't touch the curves in this instance, uh, so we'll just close that out, but you'll see my power limits at 75. And I have plus 1000 on the memory and zero on the core. Now adjusting my core up and down didn't really do much. Now, if I were to use the power limiter, that may have played a role, but or not the power, the, the curve editor that may have played a role. And then my fans at 55. Now today I'm running at 33C, as you can see right here. And, um, you know, it's a little colder in my office. I had the window open all night and I came in, it was like 56 degrees in here Fahrenheit. Now I was getting a hundred, and no, not 100. I was running at 127 watts in the software, but on the watt meter, I'm running at about 166 at the wall. And I was getting anywhere between 22.8 to 22.9 mega hash mining Furo. So let's go into what to mine. And I have the numbers plugged in already. So if I was at 22.9 mega hash at 166 watts, we'll calculate this out. And Firo, I should be getting about $278 revenue per day and $2.18 profit. Now, 15 cents per kilowatt hour, my rate did go up. So that is fairly accurate to what I'm paying now. Uh, it's a little bit shy of that, but pretty accurate. So $2.18 per day profit. Now, the price of Firo right now is $8.44. Now, if we look at the chart for the week, this is when I pretty much started it was at nine dollars and 41 cents roughly uh per coin and right now if you look at it it's up at it's down to 844 not not down too much but in mining sense it's obviously profitability and revenue that could be lost now i'm going to open up the pool here because i'm on two miners of what was paid out and uh what's still unpaid now the paid out if we open up zelcor because this is what i'm uh, using this exchange to deposit it. I do have the 2.5, 2.0508. Uh, so we're going to open up the calculator here because I do have that in my wallet. So I'd have $17.34 currently in my wallet of Firo. So that went fairly smooth. But if we put that, uh, go to the count, 2.05. 084201 and we're going to add the unpaid balance of 0 0.008044 and now this is what I I technically have mine so this is technically what I should have in Firo so we're going to look at the current price of 844 so we're going to times that by 844 so $17.38 roughly is what I've mined after a week of mining Firo and just on one solo 3060. Now, I'm sure that you could just up the power because I did have this hashing at a much, at a higher rate. Um, when I did up the power some, I got this over 23 mega hash a second. Now, 22.4 is more stable to what I was doing, but it, it does go up and down. But that's pretty much what I have done in a week. So. All right, that was it. Mining fear for a week. You guys saw the profitability, you saw the revenue. Now, I didn't take out what I paid for electric in the total cost. 
Uh, you guys just saw revenue for the week. Now, obviously you still have to pay the electric on top of that, which at my current rate is close to 15 cents right now. I was down below 12 for a while, but the electric company upped the rate on me a little bit and I had to switch over different providers. So it kind of hurt the farm a little bit, but I'm still mining away. Now, as far as staying with Firo, I don't know if I'm going to or not. Uh, I may switch over to Ravencoin uh, at some point, but for now I'm gonna leave my 3060 mining Firo. Now, I'd also like to hear in the comments below uh, what cards you guys are using mining Firo. Uh, if you like the new algorithm versus the old, now I didn't mine Firo on the old one, so I don't have anything really to compare it with. I know that the hash rate was much lower, but I don't know if the profitability was much lower at that point. Um, like I said, I didn't personally do any testing with it. But right now, you know, it's, it seems to be going pretty good. I don't like how power hungry the, it makes the card, but knowing that it was more of an overclock, like on the Kapow algorithm that I knew it was gonna be power hungry. Luckily it's getting colder, so my office was colder, so the card didn't really heat up too much. I know when I was mining Ravencoin in the past, my cards were running pretty hot. Um, well, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.